Hello chess lovers, Surin here and in this video I would like to share with you a very fascinating game played by the 7th Women's World Chess Champion Maya Chiburdanidze. In this game her opponent was Olga Andreeva and the game was played in 1973 at Women's URS Championship. But before starting our game, as usual, would like to sharpen your tactical skills. Please take a look at this position and try to find the winning line for white. Actually, you will be very proud of yourself if you can find the mating line and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. It's white to move. Back to our main board and now let's see what happened in our game. Chiburdanidze opened up with e4 and Andreeva responded with Sicilian defense c5. C3, white is choosing the Alapin variation. White wants to establish this classical pawn center by going for d4 and usually black is acting against that idea either by playing d5 or knight f6. In our game we have knight f6, e5, knight d5, d4, c takes d4, c takes d4 and d6. Instantly black is undermining white center, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, we have the exchange of knights on c3 and d takes e5. Now comes d5. First white wants to kick away the defender and then win the pawn on e5, but in return black counterattacked white knight. Knight g5 and finally once black moved his knight we have knight takes e4, queen c7. Instead of playing queen c7, e6 is stronger. In order to open up the bishop's diagonal, solve the development of the kingside bishop and castle, but in our game we have queen c7, now comes queen d4, bishop d7 and bishop a3. Already the development of this kingside bishop looks somewhat problematic. If e6 then bishop takes f8 can be played, although playing e6 is the best continuation in here and then Belek can try to castle by hand, but in our game we have f6, which is weakening Belek's kingside too much. Now comes d6 and queen c6, after which Belek's position collapses quickly. It was better to recapture with the e-pawn, and although after bishop takes d6, bishop takes d6, knight takes d6, check, Belek is forced to move his king, but still Belek's position is not lost and Belek can try his luck. Moreover, after the exchange of queens on b6, yes, black can fight back. Although white has a slight advantage, but this is a more preferable line for black. But in our game we have queen c6. Now comes d takes e7, bishop takes e7 and we have the exchange of bishops on e7. Queen b4 check, king f7 and f4. White wants to kick away the knight from this active outpost, which is also successfully covering the c4 square and announce this check. Rook e8. Black is giving away his knight, but even if move like knight g6, then in this case bishop c4 check is coming and then knight d6 check and black is losing a piece. Or after f4, if knight g4, then after castling queen's side, white has a very dangerous attack. Let's go back, but in our game, as mentioned above, after f4 we have rook e8, f takes e5, rook takes e5, and Chiburdanidze castled queen's side. In here, Black won the rook on e4, and on the surface it looks like that after winning back the lost piece, Black is doing okay, but it turns out that this rook e8, rook e5, rook e4 idea steps into a deadly tactical shot and in here Chiburdanidze went for rook takes d7 check. Look at this. If queen takes d7 then simply queen takes e4. That's why after rook takes d7 Andreeva played king e8 but in here Chiburdanidze made a move and black resigned. Can you find her next move? Ready? She played rook e7 check and black resigned. Look at this epic move. If king d8 then simply rook takes e4 and if move like rook takes e7 then already white queen is not under attack and white can play bishop b5 and it's over. Black is losing her queen. That's why after this fantastic rook e7 check we have a resignation. A very beautiful final combination I think and actually the way Chiburdanidze managed to make use of the fact that but leg king was stuck in the center of the board, I find very instructive. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked this game, give the thumbs up. For more games, consider subscribing to my channel. Also, press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in my next video. Take care.